שוישן חויכים, אהב אז קלו, בסוי זדוי די, מי בונציח, שוישן חויכים, אהב אז קלו, בסוי זדוי די. Swimming pool 
on an August day And you're the perfect thing to say And you play it caught, but it's kind of cute Oh, when you smile at me, you know exactly what you do Baby, don't pretend that you don't know it's true Cause you can see it when I look at you And in this crazy life And through these crazy times It's you, it's you You make me sing your every line Your every word, your everything You're a carousel You're a wish and well And you'll end me up When you ring my bell You're a mystery You're from my mistakes You're every minute It's my every day And I can't believe That I'm your man And I get to kiss you baby Just because I can Whatever comes our way I will see it through And you know that's what all love can do And in this crazy life And through these crazy times It's you, it's you You make me sing Your every line Your every word Your everything Can I just ask Mr. Upland, can you just watch over here where Mikey is lifting this up, he's undertaking to do all of the things that are written in the Ksova, Rabbi Yovel. So, so, so yeah, so what it is, what it is, is that you're going to look after your wife the way that you look after her wife to provide for her, and um, there's a certain amount of money in the country. Um, Did I give you, I gave this way, and I was looking that way. Yeah, just arrived, yeah. couldn't have given you. Yeah. Been doing that for a there's the first one driven here. Okay. Okay, fine. So if you could write. Have you just done it? Yeah. Was that it? Yeah. No, it wasn't. Yeah. Tell Stephen he's got his brim in order. So here. Um, um, just up here. Right side of the that way. Like it's kind of the only known Alice Wolfman was signature. Okay, now Shimon. I know. She's done it. A girl for you. Barrel, great, okay. Thank you so much. And now, if you could write your name down over here as well, Shkaya. Thank you. First, if you just write your name here. First. Sure.
my color. Yes. My color, super. Okay, Baruch Hashem. Okay, so, um, Mr. Kalman and my son, if you can watch as Mikey um, puts the veil uh, over Tanya, yeah? And then we're going to give Tanya a brotha, right, to Mikey? So, now we're going to put the veil first, first uh, put the veil, and then, and then we give her a brotha. Lovely. And now, if you can give this prophet to your daughter, yeah? Achosenu. Okay. Achosenu over here. No, 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 you must no, be surprised. Now we'll be surprised. No, 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 Yes, sir. 
Shabbos, <laughs> 
Lichi kehilchus guvin yudain, de folchim um meikrin vazanin um fansin in shehain bekushta. Via hivna lichi mehab sulaichi, kesev zuzem masan, de chazulchi midai raisa. Zonaichi, ksusaichi, sipukaichi, um meal of asaichi kairach kolara. The tzavias moras tamar basultada, the havas lay le into. The day in the dunya the hanolas lay me be avuha. Bein bekesa, bein bezav, bein betachshitin. The money del vushu b'shimushi dira, b'shimushi darasa. Meals cooking kesa tsaruf. Tzavi Reb Michael Hakoyim Chasandanan. The house of law min delay. Meals cooking kesa tsaruf. Acherim kenegdon. Sach Hakoyim Mosayim to cooking kesa tsaruf. Chacham Arad Michael Hakoyim Chasandana, Achrayas Shtak Suvta Da, Nedun Yedeinu Toi Sefta Da, Kabeinus Olai Bal Yavsoi Basroi, This Parah Mikol Shvaya, Arad Nixin, The Kinyonin, The Isli Tchais Kol Shmaya, The Kanoi, Or The Osidana Lemitni, The Chosin, The Isloi In Achrayas, Or The Lesloi In Achrayas, Kol Oinyo In Achroi, Ma Avoyin Lefroi Min Hoin Shtak Suvta Da, Nedun Yedeinu Toi Sefta Da, Ba Afilu Min Glim Od Al Kaspoi, Chai ay v'meisim in yoyma denam ula olam v'achrai t'chai m'shtak suv t'da n'dun yidei m'tay sef t'da k'ibel alav reb Michael ha'koyhein chasam d'na chai m'kol shitrei k'suvitz v'tay sef t'is d'na hagim v'na yisrael ha'asuyin k'tikun chachomeinu z'chroinam l'vrocha d'la k'as machta u d'la k'toy v'say d'shtar k'ninam in reb Michael ben reb Elchanan asha zelek ha'koyhein chasam d'na Lamaras Tamar Basri Abi Hoshua Basultada. Kholma the Khos of the Mufurish Lael, the Mono the Khoshal and Miknaya Bay, Hakoil, Shore the Kayo. No um Shima Ben Beryl Aid, No um Yehoshua Ben Moshe Aid. The first, the first two brachas, mechuvet with the uncle of the kala, Sami Newman. Chato Adoino, Eloheinu, Melech, Oelom, Boirei, Priagofen. Amen. Oro Chato Adoino, Eloheinu, Melech, Oelom, Shakur, Borolich, Boido, Oelom. Amen. Mr. Marcus Mechavitz, Grandfather of the Kala, Chubbid with the Third Brocha. Mr. Ebelis, the grandfather of the Chosom, the Chubbuk with the fourth bracha.
בורכת הנינה, אלא אני מלך ואילם, אשר יוצר הסודם בצלמוי, בצלם דמיסטה וניסוי, ואיסקי לאי ממני בניין עד יד, בורך אתו עד עיני, יועצר אודם. Mr. Suri Berkowitz, the Chubbuk with the fifth bracha. So he starts to say, 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 Mr. Pity Park is a chubbuk with the sick brother. Ruchato Adonai, Eloiheinu, Melech Poilom, Asher Boro, Sosoi Nevesimecho, Choson Vechalo, Gilo,
Cash, we can blow up. 
think I want to marry you Is it the look in your eyes Or is it this dancing juice Who cares baby I think I want to marry you
of late movie star. <laughs> My father-in-law, whose fortitude over recent times and gentle and gentlemanly conduct since I have had the privilege of being his son-in-law, has provided a role model to be aspired to. My mother-in-law, a true lady, and the best wife a man could hope for. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Abelis, a truly wonderful and accomplished couple, whose house is open to all and exemplifies by its name. <laughs> and last but no means least, Mrs. Mendelssohn, a legend, a legend of her own time, <laughs> and one whose greatest joy is attending a family symphony. <laughs> also, a very, very special mention and thanks to Adina and Josh Rosen and Sarah Nevis, whose subtle pressure to bring Tanya and Mikey together finally paid off. The Zoyha in Pasha's Pimpus tells us that the Simcha is not complete without the Goyen Shalom and all family members being there. The Sashami Sporach goes to Gan Eden to invite up to ten generations to accompany him to family Simchas. And it is in this spirit, in all senses of the word, that I welcome, amongst the many others, both my late father and Mr. Yitzchak Mendelssohn, Aleyhem Shalom, here tonight. May you both shed nachas from your respective and respectful grandchildren, Alphos and Akal. <laughs> Mikey, my new son-in-law and now fellow passenger on the interesting journey of Malik marriage. You have acquired, in a strictly legalistic, religious terms only, of course, a precious gem, though unlike a gem which is inanimate, Yours is highly animate, <laughs> as I'm sure you already know. Also, unlike a gem, Tanya has inherited characteristics, most especially from the female line. Just like her mother, my gorgeous wife, she, she's as scatty as they come. <laughs> I really missed out on fame and fortune by not recording and publishing a book of their escapades. Even I've been affected. I spent the last 15 years or so cherishing this cute picture of Tanya prominently displayed in my study, only to be informed of the engagement by a majorly put out daughter that it is in fact Ilana. <laughs> Shame on me, huh? In the words of Josh Rowe, Tanya spent her whole academic career trying to convince her teachers how poor a student she was. Sitting at the back of the classroom, head down, mind in the stars, just not attending. Well, she failed, surprising everyone with exceptional academic achievements. Modest she is, Stupid she is not. And this is eminently reflected in her choice of hostel. I shan't sing his praises following the adage that more is less and less is more. But I will say that he's a great guy. And both Sylvia and I are delighted, happy and proud to welcome you as our new son. -in. Mikey, Sylvia and I now entrust our gem to you, and you know that she couldn't be in better hands. Love her and cherish her, and you will be amply rewarded with, and I speak without bias, of course, a really great girl, woman, companion, and wife. Enough from me for now. Although I don't know our first speaker that well, though as of today he has played a fairly significant part in our lives, I do know him by reputation, and in fact, I have attended his old shul once. He's a Talmud Chacham, a Rav, charming man, 
and the role of a vibrant young Kahila, which is thriving in this new Bessa Medrash. Besides being Mikey's mentor, he is beloved of both young and not so young, and can be described in today's parlance as really cool. Ladies and gentlemen, Rabbi Tukhita. Mazel Tov, family Mendelssohn, Mazel Tov, family Newman, families Mechlovich and Abelis, family friends, and most importantly, a wonderful Hossan and Kala. It was worth coming this evening just to be called really cool. <laughs> thank you very much. Look forward to coming again. And thank you, Mikey, for asking me to share some Vivre Bracha on this special occasion. My relationship with your family goes back a very long way. Our families have been close for almost 40 years. And in fact, I feel very old when I say that I remember your parents' wedding. And here I am today at yours. It's a great privilege for me. I'm very honored and very grateful that you choose to daven in our Shul Nishmas Yisrael, where you're a really important member, a great pillar of this Kehillah. And I hope that now with Tanya by your side, We'll go together, Mechayel, Elchoyel, and Shem, and Yisimchus, Be'ezrus Hashem. The Pasuk said in yesterday's parasha, Ki yikach ish isha, when a man takes a woman, and the Gemara Masech, the Kedusha, in that face, on the face, discusses this Pasuk, and questions this Pasuk. We know, we know, of course, that marriage is by mutual consent. So why does it say over here, Ki yikach ish isha? And the Gemara brings Rabbi Shimon, and Rabbi Shimon says that it's the nature of a man to pursue his bride, to look for that woman who will help him to achieve shleimus. And the Gemara says, Moshel la'odom she'avdalayavedo. There's an analogy to a person who lost something. Who pursues whom? The one who has lost something pursues that which they've lost. Odom Harishan lost his better half. He lost his tzela, he lost his rib. And Odom had to go and find his chava. And so too, a husband has to go and pursue his bride, Yichach Ish Isha. There's a beautiful, deep understanding of this Gemara, which I saw in the writings of the Imre Emes. He answers a question which is discussed by many of the authorities. The Shach says in Yeridaeus and Kofres, he asks a question. Why don't we say Shech Yonu tonight? When you get a new suit, many people say Shech Yonu. When you have a wonderful new occasion, new experience, we say Shech Yonu, Shech Yonu, Vikimonu, 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 Tonight, when Mikey and Tanya have Baruch Hashem been brought together under such a magnificent chuppah, we would imagine that the Brokha Shech Yonu should be made. And there's great discussion why it is that we don't say Shech Yonu, or Maram Shech, or Gilin Marashah, Says the Imre Yemes, you know why we don't say Shaykh Yonu? Because we know that Achosan and Kala were destined for each other. For 40 days before Yetzirah Savlad, in Shomayim they knew who Mikey and Tanya would marry. The Gemara says, this is like Hashoba Savedo. What does that mean? It means that really each of you was earmarked for the other one from time immemorial. It's not a new spouse. It's just really the spouse who was meant for you, who is the other half of your neshama, who now you have refound, and therefore we don't make a shechi onu, because this isn't really a new event. This is just the correcting of the wrong that for these years you haven't yet been husband and wife together, and now you are. It's like hashava savedo, so there's no shechi onu. And anybody who knows the two of you sees how exquisitely suited the two of you are to each other. People who have Yiras Shomayim, people who are conscientious, people who have tremendous Simcha, Joie de Vivre, people who are intelligent, and people who have tremendous Ava Satayra and respect for Talmidei Chachomim. Everybody who knows you can really see this Chazal, can really see that the two of you are meant for each other. But in fact, it goes deeper. You see, anachnu ma'aminim b'nei ma'aminim. The two of you come from wonderful homes. I have known, as I mentioned, 
families Mendelssohn and Abelis, and I've heard so many wonderful things about family Newman and family Mechlevich. I know that both of your fathers are Koveit and Latoro in a really serious way, not just being Yotzi, but really investing time in their limit Hatoro. And your mothers create houses that have tremendous chayn and are full of chesed and hachnasas arachim. People who are really valued by their communities. People who are quiet leaders. Ma'aminim b'nei ma'aminim. It goes even deeper. These are families who were born from Holocaust survivors. Families who almost didn't make it. But they didn't just survive, they rebuilt. And they rebuilt significantly. Beautiful homes, homes full of emuna, homes full of chesed. I grew up around the Mendelssohn Shabbos table. I have the Nagunam of Uncle Yitzchok, Zichrein Levrocha, singing in my ears on every yontav. It's wonderful to see my honorary Auntie Miriam here at this simcha, a really beloved friend of my mother. She'll both be healthy and well, the Sunday Tzvansik together with all the Mishpacha. Ma'aminim b'nei ma'aminim. These are families which are beautifully suited for each other. Everybody can see, everybody has tremendous expectations for this bias which has now been built today. Our bracha to you is that you should continue to go in the ways of your illustrious families. Building a house full of Torah, avoida, and gemilas chasodim. May you always feel tremendous simcha and bring simcha to others. And may we all be zaycha for the ultimate simcha with the gemilas shleima, and the shirk to change from here from main to main.
serve the referees, please. <coughs> if, uh, if you're still here, can I say a big shout out to uh, Robert Tukita for his lovely words. Our next and final speaker is a man of few words. When he does speak, he's always worth listening to. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm my son, Rafa. Thanks, Dad, and sorry for disturbing you during ice cream. As Tanya's only brother, my parents thought that I was the best person to enlighten Mikey about his new wife. Tanya is the middle child of one boy and four girls. Psychologists would tell you that a middle child who shows symptoms of resentment and has a negative outlook. Well, it seems that Tanya has spent her life disproving this stereotype. In her formative years, she filled her days singing and jumping around the house, and would then disappear off to change her clothes at least ten times a day. As she approached adolescence, her personality began to change. Tanya was perfectly content to stay in, read a book on the couch in a hooded jumper with her hair shoved up, day after day. Despite trying to shun humanity, the world seemed to come to her, much to my discontent. Throughout Ralph Shabbos, her friends would arrive sporadically, and since Tanya remained glued to the couch and her books, it was left for me to regularly get out of bed and let each of them in. As the crowd gathered, the noise grew louder, with Tanya's shriek always managing to pierce through the others, whilst our meagre rations of Nash, which usually consisted of a few stale wafers, quickly depleted. Mikey, as you might have gathered, in subsequent years, nothing's really changed. So, I have something that is vital for your years ahead. 20 pairs of top of the range Howard Light earplugs. <laughs> Resign yourself to spending time with the sound of Tanya and her friends. I have, even ended up marrying one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Perhaps I'm not the best person to be advising Mikey about his future with Tanya. Maybe it's my father who's better placed. Rashi and Bayeshlak points out that character traits are passed on from mother to daughter. Although Tanya finds it very difficult to accept, this is most certainly the case with her. The similarities are uncanny. Both will drive 10 miles to save 5p off water. Both regularly consume their 5 a day in chocolate. It takes an average of about 20 minutes for them to understand the joke. And neither of them can keep a straight face in an awkward situation, especially when they're in a room at the same time. With that in mind, I think that Mikey ought to know what he can expect Tanya to be like in the future. After years of reading all of the Nancy Drew, Famous Five and Secret Seven books, Tanya might have picked up some tips on how to become a great detective. Something that's an amateur hobby of our mother. There was a time she rang at Eagle Vice Hotel in St. Moritz <laughs> to surreptitiously find out how much the meals cost. Being well known to the owner, she didn't want to use her own name, and when questioned, which quickly adopted a false name. Ordinarily, this would have been fine, had the name she chose not been one of the hotel's most long-standing guests. <laughs> Realising what she said, she quickly put the phone down. When the phone rang a few minutes later, my mother adopted a Swiss accent, <laughs> explained that he had the wrong number, and put the phone down again. <laughs> Fear not, Mikey. The skill set doesn't stop at accents. Since Tanya, like my mother, might well be versed in a number of languages. A few years ago, my parents were sitting by a pool, and my mother wanted to secretly point out a person who was sitting to the left of my father, using the French, à gauche, à gauche, so that the person wouldn't understand. Given that they were in France, I'm not sure it was very effective. When it comes to your spiritual needs, I'm sure that Tanya will go to great lengths to ensure that they're catered for. My mother once went out to buy some Sephora for my father. As she was perusing the shelves, she was approached by a bearded man in a white shirt who asked if he could help her. After explaining that she was looking to buy certain Sephora, the man pointed out to her that the bookshop was in fact next door. <laughs> Tanya and I. Although I'm going to be speaking before you today, I feel that people who are most worthy of giving you advice for the future are your grandparents. 
most of whom we're blessed to have with us here tonight, and Maggie's grandfather, Mr. Yitzhak Mendelssohn, and my Zayda and Shaw are here in spirit. Three your grandparents who share a common past. All of them fled from Nazi Europe, some through the horrors of Auschwitz, to build a new life in England. They passed on to their children important values, which have in turn instilled in our fostering talent. Maggie, as you might have gathered from spending time with the family, we all love Tanya. She manages to put a smile on everyone's face, even in the most trying of times. As you can see from her infamous flaps, or her hearty, very loud laughter, she wears her heart on her sleeve. Despite my feeble attempt to make her seem otherwise, Tanya is a kind, upbeat, and genuine girl. And if she does turn out like my mother, it's not such a bad thing. Yeah. <laughs> Mikey, we've only known you a short amount of time, but in that period we've seen for ourselves what everyone has told us, you're a true mensch. Even in the last few months, you managed to put me and my sisters to shame, being the first one to call on every special occasion. Perhaps we shouldn't be surprised given the family that you come from. The Mendelssohns and Abelisses are no strangers to our family, especially to my auntie Leah, who experienced such warmth and hospitality for many years living with the Abelisses in London. See Leah, I told you I here. This is why I'm so certain that the traits that you showed in your courtship will carry on into your marriage. Tanya and Mikey, you make a fantastic couple, and I wish you a life together filled with good health and happiness. Thank you. Thanks, Rafi. You never fail to um, come up with the goods. Finally, I'd just like to crave your indulgence for a couple of minutes to allow me to give my own brother to our children. Also for my visitor. As the Alpine is preparing himself to meet Aesop, he anticipates some of the questions his brother would ask. The Miata, who are you? Where are you going? And who are these before you? These are not simple questions, but hold a deeper meaning. The Miata, whose are you? What are your roots? And how do you relate to your past? But Anasaleh, where are you going? And what are your goals and visions for the future? Well, the Miata, whose are these before you? What are your talents? What do you intend to do with them? Will you share them with others? Yaakov answers the first and third questions as one. Yaakov to your servant Yaakov. This is a clear, precise, and bold statement. Past and future are inextricably linked. We are all continuations of the past and commit ourselves to build it to build on it in the future. He answers with it is a gift freely given. We are ready to give of ourselves freely to assure the future of our people. Tanya and Mikey, the chuppah you stood under just a short time ago is a physical representation of Yaakov's answers. It had a roof but no walls. Instead of walls, you are surrounded by your family who nurtured you and by your teachers who taught you. They have all tried and succeeded to instill within our people's moral inheritance. On the other hand, open walls allow you to freely go out, go out into the world and make your mark, as well as to invite the world in to try and influence it to the good, much as Avraham Avinu did for most of his life. We are really proud of you both. Whilst many matches are a case of Inver Geffen, but Inver Geffen, you are was that cup on purpose? <laughs> Yours is one of opposites attract. <laughs> but you do nevertheless complement each other perfectly. Your midas and enthusiasm for your Jewish heritage is infectious, and we all shed letters from you. Unlike Abraham and Yitzchok's houses, Yaakov's was perfect. All his children were tzaddikim. 
So may your house be, and so in time, and in its Hashem, may your children be. Well, that's about it for speeches. It just remains for me to say again how much we appreciate you all for having made this effort to join us in our simple, and to thank all those who have helped with this organisation, especially our new time, Rachel and Alan. Working with you has been a dream, so much so that Sylvia was worried why she wasn't getting worried during her preparations. You made things very easy for us, and we look forward to many years of friendship and mutual nachos shopping from our children. Finally, um, I don't have to put this, uh, and I know she won't thank me for this, but I can't adequately describe my gratitude to someone who doesn't want to be mentioned for having arranged such a wonderful do. Her attention to detail and ability to dedicate herself totally to the job in hand never fails to amaze me. For this, as well as for many other things, and for 32 years of true happiness, I thank her from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. I'm 
Oompa, oompa, oompa dee doo. I've got another puzzle for you. Oompa, oompa, oompa dee dee. If you are wise, you listen to me.
Oh, the battery, I'll be not hard, I'll be not easy, 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 I'll be